can't believe how well that worked. I saw the idea of using UV resin and baby powder to smooth out 3D prints online and wanted to give it a try. For the test I created a simple dome with a honeycomb pattern on one side to simulate print details. I set the layer heights to 0.3mm to create a rough finish to really see how well this will work. Here's the completed print. The dome printed very clean, but you can clearly see the large layer lines right at the top of the dome. I'm not going to do any initial sanding and instead go directly to applying resin. First I need to attach some kind of handle to hold the print while working with it. To do this I'll use some super glue and painter's tape. Spraying the activator on the tape causes the glue to dry almost instantly. The resin I'm using is nothing special and is just whatever I bought last from my resin printer. The baby powder is just basic pure cornstarch. I kept adding powder and mixing until it was the consistency of milk or cream. It took much more than I was expecting and if I had to guess, the final ratio would be around 2 to 1 resin to powder. To apply the resin I used a cheap foam brush and applied it in a thick coat, but not thick enough that it would run. Around the honeycomb pattern I tried to apply it a little thinner to keep the resin from pooling in the grooves. Once done applying I tried to clean out the grooves with a toothpick as best I could. Now into the UV curing chamber for a few minutes. After just one coat, the layer lines have already drastically been reduced. I'll apply two more coats to build up the thickness. If you're enjoying these type of videos, it would really help me out if you gave the video a like so it would get shared with more people. With three coats done, I'll wipe the print down with some alcohol to remove any uncured resin. The print already looks really smooth. I'm kind of surprised how well this worked. Next I'll give the print a light sanding with 120 grit sandpaper and then add a few more coats of resin. After sanding and another coat of resin, you can already see how smooth the finish is by the clear reflection of the lights on the surface.
that was the fifth and last coat. Now I'll wipe the print down with some alcohol again. Even before more sanding, the print looks really smooth. I'll give the print another light sanding with 120 grit paper and then finish it off with 220. Next step is a coat of filler primer. This primer will fill in any small imperfections and sanding scratches in the surface. Before starting, your paint needs to be well mixed, and what you're seeing now is a mixer I made that attaches to a drill. If you want to make your own, a link to the plans will be in the description. Once the primer is dry, I wet sand the print with 400 grit paper. This will remove any final imperfections. One last coat of primer, and then a light wet sanding, and then on to paint. For the color I'm going with a metallic blue. To do this I'm using acrylic inks and mixing four parts blue to six parts metallic silver. While you're watching, if you have any questions on any parts of what I'm doing here, or think I could have done something better, let me know down in the comments. The paint dries pretty quick because it's being sprayed on, so I ended up applying four to five coats of paint until I used all the paint that I had mixed. Now that the paint's dry, it's time for a few coats of clear gloss. And here's the final result. The surface finish is incredibly smooth. The only imperfections are in the paint or the clear coat. The honeycomb details held up pretty well also. In a few spots where I wasn't careful enough applying the resin, you can see where it kind of filled in. And because overkill is underrated, I'm going to give the print another quick wet sanding with 800 grit paper and then apply a few more coats of clear. Well that's it. I think I would rate this as a success. 
definitely the way to go for large, smooth surfaces like helmets. You just have to be careful around any detail areas. Thanks for watching.